in this part we are going to demonstrate how you can easily reset the windows 10 administrator account without any additional tools to perform this task we would require a windows 10 installation media you can use the cd dvd bootable pen drive or the iso file if you will be performing a task in the virtual machine so let's start if you forget windows 10 admin password or you want to break the password of your friend system that you can do it easily in this part i'll show you a simple way to reset the windows 10 password for the administrator account using the windows 10 bootable iso file or the usb as you can see here I'm not able to log in into the Windows system because I forgot the password of the admin account. Now reboot the system and boot from the Windows 10 DVD or bootable ISO file or the pen drive. Also make sure UEFI and the secure boot are disabled. Press any key to start the installation process and process will be started. Click on the next to proceed with the default option. Here click on the repair your computer and new windows will appear with the few options. Select the troubleshoot option and you can see you will see the advanced troubleshooting options here. Go to the system image recovery option but don't worry we will use this option to change the file name of the systems application. You will get an option to re-image your computer, simply cancel it, click on the next, then choose the advanced option and select the install a driver and click on OK. Now thereafter, Windows Explorer will be open and you have to go into the C drive, then Windows, then go to the System32 folder. Now we have to replace the file utilman.exe with the cmd.exe before we do that rename the utilman.exe with any other name so that we can restore it back now go to the cmd.exe and rename it to the utilman.exe and refresh to see the changes we are done now cancel to go back and boot the windows normally Once your Windows 10 started, on the sign in page, click on the utility manager icon. Since we replaced the utility manager with the cmd.exe, a command prompt should open now, but it is not opening and I know the reason. Windows Defender Antivirus blocking us to the perform such activities, but don't worry, I know how we can bypass this security controls. What we have to do is, Reboot the system again and press F8 multiple times to access the advanced startup option. Click on the troubleshoot, then choose the advanced options and select startup settings for the options. These options provide you some startup settings and we have to disable the earlier launch anti-malware production so that we can perform an admin password reset activity. Click on the restart option to reboot the system and you will get the startup setting post BIOS. And here is the list of the startup options. Press F8 to proceed so it will boot without anti-malware protection and windows will be starting. Let's wait few seconds to initialize. Now on the Windows 10 sign in page, click again on the utility manager icon and a command prompt should open now and it is opened. Now it's time to reset the administrator password from the command line. To do that, first type the net user to get the list of all local users and here we are going to change the password for the Ankit user. 
to do that type net user then username and specify the new password that you want to set and hit enter as you can see command successfully completed and the password has been changed to express123 for the Ankit user type exit to close the command prompt window and try to log in in the windows using the new password now we are logged in into the windows 10 system with the new password so you can use this trick to reset your computer's password without any additional tools now it's time to change back the utility manager file name to the original to do that reboot the system and boot the system using the bootable windows 10 media next to proceed then repair your computer click on the troubleshoot choose advanced options and select system restore same option that we have used earlier to rename the files system recovery process will be begin click on the next then choose the advanced options and select installer driver options and hit ok to proceed for the next again go to the c partition then windows and then go to the system 32 folder here we have to change back the file name to the original first find out the utilman.exe and rename it to the cmd then find out the utilman underscore one the file you have renamed earlier and rename it to the original utilman.exe and refresh the page and verify the spelling of the both files we are done now you can close the windows and login into the windows normally with the new password hope you enjoyed this part thank you